This is Dr. Eric, and I want to review how we take a model that's been exported from the iTero with a solid base and basically get it ready to print without hollowing. So first tool we're going to use is the plane cut. So we'll go to edit, plane cut. Now this is basically like a knife that we're going to use as our digital model trimmer. So what we do is we'll left click any point on the print bed that you see here, drag it over, and wherever we stop that line, we can change the angle. It's going to make a slice. And once it makes that slice, we can see all this turns clear. If we hit this big arrow, it's going to swap it. And now it's going to delete everything that's not the solid gray color. So once we've made that slice, it's important to see that we see all solid green or solid color. If we move it in, you can see that it turns hollow. It will not cut properly if you do that. So we'll back back out so we see green on the edges, and then we'll accept. So pretty much, this is a super clean model, so we don't really need to do a whole lot of plane cuts. But if it was choppy or it wasn't a very good like cleaned up when we did the scan, we would have to make a plane cut here, plane cut, a few plane cuts around the edges. So when it's clean, it saves us a lot of time. So now we're going to make another plane cut. I'm going to again left click, cut across, and basically we're creating the back flat. So now if I go ahead and right click this whole model, you can see. I can rotate it. Now it's important for this plane cut that this blade basically faces away from the teeth. Right now it's tipped towards the teeth. So we'll want to tip it away. Once we're tipped away, we can see we look to make sure everything's nice and solid. Again, we can move in and out if it's not. If we're nice and solid, so I'm just going to accept that. And next tool I'm going to show you is the select tool. Now we don't typically really need it in a case like this because this model is pretty clean, but this is meant for cleaning up little tiny fragments that you can't get with the plane cut. So in order to activate this tool, you hit the S button, and you'll see now we have this is the select options. We can make a lasso, we can make a brush, but we always want to bring the size down a little bit. If we're on brush mode, you'll see it'll let me highlight a specific area. So for this little piece, it's over here, for example, you can highlight it. If you hit the X button, it now deletes it. Now we have a hole. So in order to fix that hole, we then will go to Analysis, Inspector, and then Auto Repair. And you can see, nice and cleaned up. Now the lasso, we just make a little circle by holding our left mouse. We can make a little circle around it, and it essentially would do the exact same thing. Now I'll just show you real quick, lasso, we could just circle that if we wanted to. Same exact thing, I'm not going to do it because it's already pretty clean. So at this point, we're ready to print, almost actually. Next thing we want to do is another plane cut. So we want to want to do is make it so that these back corners, this corner and that corner, kind of over like hide each other. Then we're going to do our next plane cut. So we're going to go back to edit. Plane cut. And we're first going to go ahead and make a cut across the bottom. And again, we'll flip that big arrow. And now we'll scroll in and out with this guy until it becomes solid. So the higher we go, we're just saving resin because we don't need that much. So we can cut that whole bottom off and hit accept. So that's called our bottom or inferior plane.
plane cut. So the first one we did was this was the sides. Then we did our posterior plane cut. And this is the inferior or bottom. So now we're going to do the same thing where we can hide those two corners. Make sure everything's nice and flat. We'll do our final plane cut. And this is kind of like a wedge plane cut. And we're doing this one just to give us a little wedge so we can get the model off the build plate. So we'll do a little slice. Again, left click, drag over, flip that. And you can see that it's nice and green on both sides. So now we accept it. And the reason we did that is so when we are ready to break it off the plate, our knife will slide right underneath, right underneath, and pretty much pop it off pretty easy. So model's ready to print at this point. We want to do one more thing, and we want to write the person's initials on this. In order to write the initials, we're going to go to Sculpt. We always want to make sure it's on surface mode. And you'll see that the brushes, the brush abilities change. There's a lot of brushes that we can use to smooth things, but for this case, we'll go to surface, brushes, and draw max, which is basically a pen. Now it's important that we turn the size down to about 20. And then we just decide where we're going to write. You typically want to write on any of the smooth part, never on these lines. It never works. So we usually will just write someone's initials. And you left click. And then you just trace. And at this point, we're done and ready to print. So we would, well, before we print, it's always good to hit the inspector one more time. Analysis, inspector. If there's any arrows, it'll point to like did before, and then we auto repair. Now we just export. And in our system, under network share, there's a folder that says need to be printed. So if we click on that and we can just save it. And now it's ready to print. We'll drag it on our print bed and good to go.